Hi guys! Um, the first time I recorded this video it was 5 minutes and 55 seconds and, and that's just way too long and you would have been like ugh and, and hit next. So I'm starting over to talk about Maltese Falcon this week and I um, clearly it's a private eye fiction but also a whodunit and I loved that it was the first private eye novel that we had read and then reading it right before body work um, I see so many similarities in the uh, the private eye novel and even though there's such a time difference and, and crime difference um, there's so many similarities and so many parallels between Sam and and Vic and I just uh, find all of that so intriguing and compelling and um, so easy to get through the books um, and body work is long but um, it's really grabbing my attention and I'm about um, three quarters of the way done with that book so can't wait to finish it and, and find out what happens but um, wanted to talk about a few themes in Maltese Falcon this week First of all, kind of the mood setters. Um, we talk a little bit about San Francisco as the setting, but I really found a lot of mood setters and, and kind of made notes of them um, throughout the week as I was reading like the fog and, and the taxi cabs and the alleys. I also found um, the trench coats to be really interesting and, and how they were hiding the guns under their trench coats or their overcoats and and even the the props and the... <clears throat> the um, the clothing and, and some of the things that they describe, uh, he describes in the book, um, really just set the tone. And, and I found that to make it um, a lot easier to get through because it was, it was very Casablanca or Cary Grant, even though I know it was Humphrey Bogart. But I just love that era, and it, it's so kind of sexy. And um, it was a fun read, um, or a fun listen, in my case, since I had so much windshield time this week. But the, the aha moment for me, and it was more of, than a moment, it was like the theme of the whole week for me was the, the womanizing and the gender issues and, and kind of picking apart the female characters in the book. And I spent a lot of time um, writing things down about Effie and Bridget and Iva and, and also uh, Gutman's daughter. There was that scene that she was in for about a chapter where she had been drugged and she had those cuts on her side and Sam had to hold her up and um, she was so frail and then he was finding the uh, which room was hers and he went into the first room and it was it was green and it was masculine and then he went into another room and it was much lighter and there were female accessories on the bathroom counter and um, so I think that Hammett had a lot to say about gender issues um, we got a little bit into Cairo's character as well, and, and even Wilmer a little bit. And and I think that um, he was really making a statement um, in the book, and I'm going to explore that a little deeper. I'd like to write um, write it as part of my paper this weekend. So I just, it, it was the first time I really, so far in this class, had, had picked a theme out and really ran with it the whole week and kind of dissected it. Um, so that was kind of the aha for me, kind of getting past let's read the book, let's talk about it, let's get the assignments done, and really spend a lot of time thinking about it um, in my off hours. So that was kind of a, a wake-up moment for me this week. Also, I found it really interesting, a lot of the similarities um, and parallels between Hammett and Sam. First of all, that um, Hammett's birth name was Sam. He lived in San Francisco. He did work as a private eye. Um, he had a reputation for being a womanizer, so all of that kind of played into the book. It's also the first book where we have this recurring character where um, Sam appears in several different books and um, and we see that again with V.I. Warshawski and, and body work. So um, I find that really interesting and, and I, I want to read more. It's it's compelled me to kind of read more uh, Warshawski novels and, and to read more of the Sam Spade character and kind of get into that. So it was kind of a wake-up week for me because um, I really got into the book and the themes and and the recurring character and it um, it was just a really fun week for me so I hope that you enjoyed it as well and that you're having a great weekend can't wait to talk about body work next week um, it's just a really intriguing piece and and so much to dissect and pull out of that so I can't wait to talk about it um, have a great weekend go wildcats see ya